Paul. Hello, Guy. Hello, Angela. Hello. Hello. All right. What have we got here? Ooh. Hello. Hello, Madeline. Saying that to the cocktail shaker, but also hello to you. <laughs> here we go. Create the fanciest cocktail. You may only use ingredients that rhyme with each other. <laughs> Bonus points may be earned if the vessel also rhymes. You have five minutes to plan your cocktail, then ten minutes to make it. Fanciest cocktail wins. So your time starts now. Ingredients that rhyme with each other. Um, what do you normally put in it? Rum and... You know, I just got rude words. OK, well, the fanciest <laughs> thing is caviar. Money? Oh, let's do money, that's fun. Money, honey, bunny. What is bunny? Bunny, rabbit meat. <laughs> Cream, beam, gym beam. Gin, mandarin, <laughs> with some thins. What are thins? Thins, the chocolate biscuit. <laughs> to be served in a tin inside of a bin. I've got caviar, fine cigar, <laughs> lacy bra, cancer tar. Like the tar that goes in your lungs from cigarettes and gives you cancer. <laughs> so I'm going to be drinking the drink. OK, I'll take out the cancer tar just for you. Stay smoke free in New Zealand. Cream. Beam, steam, because you'll end up steamed. I'd say if you're doing this. So a cup can go with syrup, seven up. Runny chocolate, gummy bears, honey, dew melon. I'm drinking out of a machine. That'll be good. What kind of machine? Ah, uh, might be something like a leaf blow or something. Get it down quick. You probably want it too when you taste this. Okay, <laughs> nanny, a picture of a nun. I would like a picture of um, Whoopi Goldberg in Sister Act. <laughs> so what have you got? Syrup and seven up in a cup. Okay, and that's everything? Yep. Up next, we have the wickedly talented <laughs> Lee Hart. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Good, thanks. Yes, yeah, so we've got our rhyme ingredients, the, the beans and the cream. And what is that? That's a clove steamer, which I'll use to steam the beans beforehand. Cream, of course. Beam, right? Cream. Shut that in there. Okay, let's get some of the beans in there. I'm um, also <laughs> mentioned there was bonus points for drinking the cocktail from a, a machine. And I've managed to do that. Actually, you might want to put those on as well if you could. That's what, that's what I like to pour. Look at that, beautiful. Oh. There you go, you just hold that. <laughs> Yes, please. <laughs> um, actually, you might want to use the close steamer after this. That might be useful. Thank you, mate. Now, there's funny and then there's cruel, and <laughs> amazingly, Lee, you've managed to be both those things on this occasion. It's all coming back to me, this. <laughs> And, you know, extra points as well, because uh, we were talking about it out of a special vessel. I feel like if every drink in New Zealand was served through a leaf blow, we might sort of sort our binge drinking problem yeah. out. <laughs> it's not what you're drinking, it's how you're drinking. Yeah. Isn't it? yeah. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Lee. Paul. Mads is here, and she's ready to go for it. Oh! <laughs> That's cute. Oh, a smaller letter. Hide one of these vegetables completely inside another. If you use the same vegetable hiding combination as another comedian, you will both be disqualified. Best unique hidden vegetable combination wins. You have 15 minutes. Your time starts now. Okay. Thinking, can I get that pumpkin inside that carrot? 15 minutes. It's a long time. You've got 13 minutes oh, 42. <laughs> this one from the master of vegetable disguise, Lee Hart. Mm. I might head to the kitchen and get some, some stuff. Okay. You want a coffee or anything? Or? Uh, I'm not a big coffee guy. Sure? Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you, though. You know, anything else? You fine? I mean, a glass of water. A glass of water, for sure. No problem. Yes, please. Thank Back you. in a moment. Thank you. <laughs> mm. 
Sorry, Paul. No worries. Oh, thank you so much. I hope that's working. So, pop that there. I might pop back. Just get some other tools. I've got this, but it doesn't have any, uh, doesn't go with anything. Right. Six minutes twenty. Oh, this is a time limit thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that, Paul. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, not bad, is it? I guess I, I shouldn't really stop it. You've just got five minutes to kind of to do more, or just to, to improve on it, or just free time. Four minutes thirty. This should have been the challenge. Mm. Bring a blender in and parts and try to make it again, but no one thought of that. Thirty seconds now. Wow. This is an easy recipe you can try at home. The full recipe, of course, will be on the on the website. <laughs> it's so easy when you know how. There you go. Well, uh, most people opted to uh, hide a sole vegetable. You decided to make a puree of sorts. That's right, that's right. And, you know, you've got to admit there's a few technical issues there as well, <laughs> um, which I, I solved all by myself. Was that your first time using a blender? Of that variety, yeah. That's the first time <laughs> I've used that blender. Was anyone else feeling uncomfortable when he put his hand into Ooh, the blender? Yeah. <laughs> While it was still operating? Yeah. I felt uncomfortable. Then. <laughs> but I was under a time limit by then. I, I was at, a, what, a minute to go by the time the blender started going? Yeah, Lee spent a total of six minutes and 56 seconds trying to get the food processor to work. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. Hello, Brinley. What, Tina did, did she? Or did Danny say that? Hello, Angela. Hello. <laughs> no, no, I'm still doing that Taskmaster show, yeah. That's good. Yeah, I'm pretty much winning, I think, yeah. Oh, hey, Paul, how's it going? You good? I'm good, thank you. I'm well. I, I didn't ask. I know. It's my favourite part, this. Commit a crime. You cannot break the law. Oh, what? <laughs> Commit a crime, you can't break the law. You have ten minutes to plan your crime. Then ten minutes to commit it. Best crime wins. Your time starts now. Out of all our contestants, this man has served the most time on planet Earth because he's the oldest. <laughs> it's Lee Hart. All the sensations, the smells, the sounds, the visual aspect, all important when making a good cheese toasty ball. Now it's time for the cheese. Your favourite cheese? Well, I'm personally a, a tasty man. I don't think there should be any other cheeses other than tasty. Mustard, not everybody's cup of tea. But why not? Oh. Now we wait. It's a waiting game. Oh, you been busy? No. No? Just this gig, yeah? Yeah. Cool, cool. <laughs> is that a Tui? Is that out there? A Tui? You got 40 seconds now. There you go, look at that. So what'd you think? Of this or of the crime? The task was to commit a crime. The amount of crimes I've committed doing this that you didn't even pick up on while we're doing was unbelievable. Beautiful toasty on the surface. Not tasty cheese, is it? Some sort of half-assed Colby or Edom. For me, that's a crime. I wouldn't put mustard on a toasty. No, it's actually not too bad. It's genuine. I actually take it back about the mustard. It's quite good. Mm. Cheese isn't bad either. 
Which I think I failed this one. I don't think we committed any crimes with that. It's beautiful. <laughs> you know what? I don't mind losing this particular competition if we get to enjoy this. The biggest crime, I think, is you didn't cook more. I think we should cook more. <laughs> <laughs> Really good toasty. Not even just saying that, genuinely one of the best toasties I've ever had. At what point did you forget what the task was? I don't, I don't think I forgot. I, I, was, I was expecting that toasty to be less awesome than it was. And I really thought the mustard would be wrong and the cheese was all wrong, but it actually tasted all right. It, it was possibly the best toasty I've ever eaten. <laughs> Yeah, and I think we, the crew ended up enjoying it as well. It was actually quite a, a good moment, wasn't it? There were no crimes committed at all. <laughs> On reflections, no crimes whatsoever. <laughs> I feel like I'm really looking forward to the launch of Snacker Sammy. <laughs> There's just some scoring. For me, uh, Brinley, one point for you. There was just some low-level offending there. I am so mad. <laughs> Yeah, well, two points to Angela, because uh, I'm not even sure what she actually did. Well, at first I was amazed that she came last and Lee didn't come last, but then I found out Lee hasn't come second to last either. Well, Madeline, still some uh, cultural indiscretions from you, yeah, so uh, so you get three points. Yep, it is on uh, me, it's all good. Guy, I liked your G-string. I thought that was a great fashion crime, and seeing your ass, that was a crime. <laughs> didn't like that either. And then I think five points for Lee in this situation because... Look, not doing the task is the ultimate crime. <laughs> <laughs>